I am Guy DiMartino. I am a Northwest Indiana personal injury lawyer. And today I'd like to explain the difference between a survival action and a wrongful death action. In both of these cases, the person who was injured died. But you have to elect which type of claim you want to go forward with. You can actually plead both of those claims at the beginning of the case, but by the time you get your case to court, you have to decide whether you're going to pursue a survival action or a wrongful death action. Now, let me explain the difference between both of these types of claims. At common law, Years ago, remember, our law comes from English common law, generally. If somebody was killed in an accident, if somebody was killed because of the negligence of another company, the family could not bring a claim against the other people. That is because there was no claim at common law for the wrongful death of another. Legislatures, an Indiana legislature in and of itself, said that is unfair. We cannot go forward with anything like that. So we are going to put together a statute. We're going to put together a law, and that is called the Wrongful Death Act. Now, in, India, we, in Indiana, we pretty much have three wrongful death acts. We have the general, the adult, and the child, but that's for a topic that'll be discussed on another day. So a wrongful death claim really does not look at what happened to the person that dies. A wrongful death claim looks to the survivors the surviving spouse, the dependent children. So the wrongful death claim looks at those who are left and the losses that they have. And then it also looks at the losses that the estate might have, which could be a lost income, which could be hospital bills, which could be funeral bills. So on the one hand, we have the wrongful death claim, which looks at the survivors and their loss. On the other hand, we have a survival action, which looks at what the person who was injured went through between the time of the injury and the time that they passed away. So it looks at the pain, suffering, medical expenses, the things that the deceased person went through. So you might say, well, why would you bring a claim for wrongful death versus a survival action? Well, it's very fact dependent. Sometimes you might not be able to bring a wrongful death claim because of who's out there and who is left and a survival action might be the better way to go. Sometimes the person who passed away just went through so much from the time of injury until the time that they passed away that the better claim for the family would be the survival action. Now, both of these causes of action have to come through the personal representative which is appointed by the court on behalf of the estate, and they will bring the claim on behalf of either the survivors of the estate, the surviving spouse, the kids, or on behalf of the person who passed away. So this is something that you would have to discuss with your injury lawyer about the better way to go ahead and proceed, whether you're going to have a survival action or a wrongful death action. If you have any questions regarding a wrongful death matter, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino. Have yourself a great day.